Today we're going to be discussing ride sharing. I'm sure everyone here has used Uber or Lyft to get around. It's a very convenient and, and great mode of transportation. Uh, but there are a lot of inherent risks in getting into a car with someone you don't know at all and having them drive you around. So very frequently there are accidents while uh, our clients are in an Uber or a Lyft or they're the driver of an Uber or a Lyft who's in an accident. There are a lot of different issues that surround these accidents and um, today we're going to discuss some of them. So there are two different possibilities. Either our client is the driver or passenger of an Uber or Lyft, or they are in another vehicle which is hit by an Uber or Lyft driver. And we'll discuss each of these. So firstly, if you are an employee or a, an independent contractor for Uber, and you're using your own vehicle uh, to, to drive people around through these apps, um, the first thing that you need to know is you do need to disclose this to your own auto insurance companies. Most people believe that because Uber or Lyft provides some additional insurance for them, that they don't need to involve their, their personal auto insurance policies in that, but they certainly do. And we've had many times where our clients' personal auto insurance is canceled because they never disclose that to their insurance company and then they're in an accident and their insurance company wants to take a statement from them to find out what happens. And when the insurance company finds out that they were driving their vehicle for commercial purposes and never disclose that to the insurance company, well, that is a material misrepresentation and grounds for your auto insurance company to cancel your policy. And at Rifkin, Thompson, and Brzezinski, we're representing these type of accidents all the time, and we'd be happy to speak with you if you're in a similar situation. Thank you.